Kentucky High School flutist. Today I am going to be talking about the KMEA All-State Band audition music and try to give you some pointers for you to think about in your practice as you prepare for your auditions. So first of all, this audition music this year is by Robert Wall and he is a band director in Virginia and this is just an excerpt that he wrote strictly to be used as an audition piece. So the first thing that I want to say to you as you prepare for your audition, and it may seem obvious, but you would be surprised how many flutists don't think about this or don't really take it seriously. And that is, make sure that your flute is in good working condition. There is nothing worse than preparing for an audition and finding out that you have leaky pads or sticky keys or something is not working on your flute. It will make your life a lot easier if you know that your flute is in its best possible condition. Now, you may not even know that your flute has a leak in it. You might just be thinking, my low C's won't come out. So make sure you check it over and that your flute is playing at its best. Now, you might be saying, well, that's easy for Nina to say because she plays on a top of the line professional flute but obviously most high school students are not necessarily playing on flutes of that level. Which is why today I recorded this excerpt on a Brio B10 flute. This is an open hole flute. It's considered a step up flute for students. So once you know that you have a flute in good working condition, you need to start getting ready to learn the piece. And I can't say this enough. I'm going to say it over and over again. The first thing to do in learning your all-state band music is to practice it slowly, slowly, slowly. And when I say slowly, I don't mean just a little bit slowly. I don't mean... No, I mean really slowly, slowly, slowly. Because you need to learn every note perfectly without any mistakes because first of all you're training your ear to know how the music sounds so that when you do go faster and if you play a wrong note you'll hear that it's a wrong note and also you don't want to train yourself to play the wrong notes you don't want to train your fingers to go to the wrong spot because you're playing it too fast so start it really slowly I would even say take it down to 16th note equals 72. And you'll be shocked at how slow this is. You'll think I'm crazy. But this is a way to really master the piece one note at a time. say that's just too boring I can't possibly practice it that slowly but remember when you're playing it that slowly you're not just working on learning the fingerings don't forget about the importance of sound sound is probably the number one most important quality in your flute playing that any judge or any audience member is going to react to and respond to immediately a pretty beautiful tone so play it slowly, thinking about your pretty sound. And when you've done it like that, and you're really comfortable, and you're ready to move on to a faster tempo, then you can go faster, but not too fast, just a little bit faster. So I'm gonna take it up now, to 92, still for each 16th note. And just take breaths wherever you need to when you're playing it at this very slow tempo. Now, it takes a lot of discipline to practice something that slowly because of course we get excited and we want to go ahead and play the piece and hear it sounding fast, but you are not doing yourself a service by playing it too fast, too soon. Music study is a very disciplined 
art. It requires a tremendous amount of self-control. So resist the temptation to go too fast. I promise you, if you practice it slowly, you will actually learn it up to tempo faster. Meaning that if you start trying to play it fast right from the beginning, it could take you six months before you have learned all the notes. And quite frankly, you might never learn it. But if you start with this disciplined approach, you will have it learned in a matter of weeks. Now, if any of you live near Northern Kentucky University, which is in Highland Heights, Kentucky, near Covington and Newport, just south of Cincinnati, Ohio, and you're interested in having an actual personal lesson with me on this music, I will be giving a free clinic through Northern Kentucky University on November 1st from 7 to 9 p.m. And that is going to be held here at Northern Kentucky University. There are also clinics for other instruments, so you can tell your friends who play other instruments that they can come as well. So if there's any way that you can get to NKU on that day, I would be happy to hear you and work with you on your audition music.